more tragedy tonight in the case of a York County family that has a disturbing tale about substance abuse. The family dysfunction was exposed in July of 2022 when a two year old was found dead in her home. Tonight, her grandfather, a physician, is also dead. Dr. Timothy Raines was 59 years old when he was arrested and charged with one felony count of child neglect following the death of his two-year-old granddaughter. According to his attorney, Tommy Norman, Dr. Raines died March 5th at 10.58 p.m. at the age of 61 from an apparent heart attack. Dr. Raines, who operated a family medicine practice in Hampton, was due to plead guilty next month in a case that put his medical license on the line. In the bedroom of the Kiln Creek home where his granddaughter slept, deputies found multiple components of syringes and a crib with a dry cigarette-burned blanket piled on top of urine-soaked blankets. There was also a diaper bag with gel capsules filled with a substance suspected to be heroin that could have been in reach of the child, according to a criminal complaint. A search of Anna Rain's phone showed that she exchanged messages with her father in which he questioned her sobriety and accused her of not caring about the child's safety. According to a criminal complaint, Dr. Raines often wrote to her to clean the house, calling it a pigsty. York County investigators say they found the illegal substance fentanyl and the veterinary tranquilizer xylazine in the 22-month-old's system. This is just some of the evidence prosecutors use to allege the doctor knew the child was in danger but failed to take adequate action to protect his granddaughter. Both parents, Anna Raines and Jesse Gunn, are serving 14 years in prison for voluntary manslaughter and abuse. Dr. Raines was due in court April 23rd for a plea that, according to his attorney, probably would have allowed him to maintain his practice. According to Tommy Norman, Raines died of an apparent heart attack.